Hello, welcome back to IT Security Labs. If this is your first time, please subscribe to my channel. I share very consistent content about IT security and system monitoring. And today I'm going to show you how to install your own test environment or work environment on Docker, Telegraph, and Grafana. This is a very simple 10, 20 minute ordeal and you have a system that's running and that's collecting metrics. And let's just start with a ticket, because I like tickets. Uh, you have a client, Trevor Felix in Phillips Industries. Trevor, your boss, wants pretty graphs of CPU, network usage, disk usage of the systems. He wants to be able to just see a graph and get an idea of how systems are doing. And that's Windows and Linux systems. So. He wants that, but there is no money for that. So he pretty much he wants something that looks like this, where you put it on a dashboard, on a TV, he can just look up there if someone's saying things are slow and look at the graphs and be able to know that things are working. I was able to implement a solution in my lab and I'll show you what it looks like. So what you're looking at here is my uh, Grafana dashboard. This is for my Windows environment. I have my domain controller there, as you can see. It has been up for two days. I can see the processes, I can see the CPU usage, I can see the memory usage, I can see the disk usage, which are all very important indicators of this system. So if there is some unusual CPU usage, I would like to know right away. This is what it looks like. If you scroll down, you get more details about memory usage, about system calls, switches, disk usage, and how the usage split looks like. The amount of free space, as you can see, we're almost 50%. There's also network input and output, the throughput, and all the packets. As you can see, you can see some spikes. These are all good sources of data. You, if you want, you can actually get all these. And the good thing about this setup is you can also have a Linux environment. And I have one Linux system that I'm, I've been monitoring. I actually, yeah, I have this system. This is my uh, Elastic Stack server. As you can see, I can tell that this server probably needs more RAM because I'm using 67% right now when I'm not even interacting with it. So this is really good information about your systems and you might want to implement this solution. It's very easy, it's less complicated than any other solutions. Everything comes pre-packaged, especially if you're using Docker. And uh, you can get this system up and running in your lab in no time. So um, now that you've seen what it looks like, I'll show you the VM that I'm running it. I'm running it in this VM that says Grafana. It's in Ubuntu, 64-bit, and I'll just sign into Ubuntu right now to show you uh, the Docker instance. So if I want to see the networks that I've created in this Docker, that's the network. I try to separate networks in this Docker environment. And for your own information, I'm not an expert in Docker. This is my first time actually implementing something in Docker, and I really like it, especially for testing. So I'm actually playing with it. You don't have to be an expert to set this up. Anyone, even if you have never installed Docker in your life, you'll be able to get this system up and running in under an hour. I will just show you guys in a couple minutes here uh, what the setup looks like. So that's the network. The volumes are these ones. I have a Grafana volume and I have an Influx database volume. And that's it. After this, I have containers and everything just runs. And these are the resources that I used. This is a blog um, that I ran into. It's very, very quick and straightforward. It works as of today because I just did this. If you follow every instruction on this blog to the T, you will end up with graphs that look exactly identical to mine, like these ones. This is very easy, straightforward. So I will have a link to this blog um, I'm not as affiliated with this guy. It's just a great blog post. You did it better. I'm not going to waste time trying to show you how to do it. Because these instructions are great. Just follow these instructions and you have 
a lamp that looks exactly like mine. So that's it guys. This is a very quick um, lamp setup. This is the future. I'm still working on it. My lab uh, dashboard should look like this after I'm, I'm done I'm monitoring everything. But I just want to give you an idea of what it looks like. If you haven't subscribed, please remember to like and subscribe to this video. And um, you'll be seeing more content of these beautiful graphs from me. Um, otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.